very strong desolation feel, that's for certain. So the, I actually thought the ship was going to be in the final location there for a bit. Guess not. <clears throat> I can run. I've got no items. Hope I find one of my item boxes. Where the fuck did the rest of my inventory go? We are going through the swamp, it seems. Helicopter? It's a helicopter. Helicopter? <gasps> Climb this. What are these? Oh, they're dead fish. Huh. Rickety old town someplace or another. Well, let's see where this is heading us towards. Going a little bit deeper with the dead fishies. This definitely has a feeling that's the final location in the game. It's that quietness before the storm sort of deal. Let's so go through here. Let's see where we're headed towards. Under and through. Thanks to check. No spoilers in the chat, please. Under there. Climb up. Peekaboo. This looks pretty oy. Oh, I'm finally getting stuff. February 18th, 1892. That was a while ago. There was a collapse in the plantation mine. Tulane and Backford are dead. Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Go down this way. Hey, it's the picture. Oh, the helicopter. Are they watching us from the helicopter? From the demo. That's a weird demo throwback so late into the game. I guess we interact with this, see what happens. Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. And then suddenly Swift transition to save music. Ship Swamp Lab. What I was going to say is that it sounds like some military units are now somewhat aware of what's going on, so that's what's occurring here, it seems. Oh, is there more upgrades? Oh, it's the same upgrades, just in a different place, which actually is good because I need to goddamn get all my stuff back. You've taken me as things. When did I do that? <laughs> okay, what I was gonna say though. I need all the antique coins I can get. I really need to fill up my inventory in general, so. Why did I get her expansion cache? That'd be nice. Strong first aid. Move that there. Strong chem fluid. Move that there. Oh, I got the machine gun. Machine gun. Sure, I'm gonna go in guns blazing to call it that. Remote bombs. Let's go. This is probably towards the end of the game, so I'm gonna go a little bit more crazy than I normally would. Uh, let's see. Where's my favorite shotgun? There you are. Move that there. Shotgun shells. A shit ton, please. I, I feel like this is the end of the game territory, so again, I'm gonna just go all out. Strong chem fluid, let's do this. 
me a few herbs, a couple herbs is good there. I still got the balloon. All right, then we got more strong first aids. And then I need another herb. I know I've got another herb. I got all these antique coins here. I can even go take my magnum. I need at least one more herb. One more. Okay. Now combine this with that. And combine this with that. And combine this with that. And get the magnum. Which one's the magnum? You're the magnum. Put in some coins. I might be at this for a little bit. We'll let that number tick down. Moving stuff there. All the stuff to count down. Ta-da! Magnum. Obtained. I'll mess around a little bit more. Put the rest of my antique coins away. Got more strong first aid medicine. Wow, I'm more fully loaded than I would have ever imagined at this point. But it's because I'm just going to go crazy. Remote bombs are kind of useful, though. I got more stuff than you get. More shotgun shells. I can just go insane, really. Magnum ammo. Let's do that. I'll save the magnum for last, though. It's locked. Grenade launcher. Why not? It's a party here. We know everyone's invited. Let's see. I have more machine gun ammo. Yes. <laughs> I probably don't need this much. <laughs> Going fully loaded. I can probably move some of that stuff back. And now, what's our round staff for the grenade launcher? I got another strong first. Uh, let's see. Crosses, rail knife, and powder. I guess I do need a survival knife. That's a staple. And let's see. Lockpick. I always do with more of those. Balloons, strong doll, treasure photo, hanging ammo. I got some ammo for there it is, flame rounds. There's other types of rounds too, but it's just gonna be flame rounds I'm gonna use there. And now to completely regret that I've got so much. I'm ready. <laughs> Who needs handgun? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna be like a fucking idiot. Let's see there. for saving supplies all the way towards the end. Let's do this shit. There is one thing which I need to adjust in my positioning. No matter how I spin it, it's better if this is here. I can't pick up anything. I'm going fully loaded. My first kills. <laughs> Badass music kicks in. I come into town like a lonely, fully loaded rider. Oh, great time for me to reload. 
really great time. Get ready for this shit. Fun, fun. Some stuff away. Best Outlast clone I ever played. Every low molded has a prize on its head. With me. Time for me to reload. Alright, anything back here? Doesn't seem like it. Strong chemical fluid, but who needs that shit? Take some more machine gun ammo, please, because I'm ready for action. Gear in a go. Are we going underground? Looks like we're going underground. That we're going. Now we're going underground. It's got. It's got underground painted all over it. We in this to win this. So let's get ready. Yep. Let's go down. Sure is getting dark in here. Expect to leave the place. Oh, hey, it's a little bit brighter now. Locked and loaded. <laughs> I can dump. It's worse than your this whole entire time. Oh boy. Come at me. Wanted to do that. It worked out perfectly. I guess we're going to some mine. Fuck. All oh, right, they said Lucas was down here. Right. It probably means some of these are explosive too. I don't even know why I'm breaking them. I don't even need them. Music got freaky. That's just how I like it. Fuck me. I'm done with those. <clears throat> A lot of trip wires here, just gotta be careful. Seems like a cool place. Nice place to hang out around. <laughs> Deeper into the crevices we go. Anything going in. Let's see what's down here. If this isn't the final location of the game, I'm fucking screwed once I waste all my good weapons. Just just saying that right now. I like the look of this area though. No more detonator bombs. This way looks like a dead end. More magnum ammo. Saving that for the final boss. Yeah, you can shoot the tripwire stuff. I just don't have my handgun or don't want to waste my ammo. <laughs> I say as I'm going fully loaded with everything. Hi. I need to reload. Hey, you're not dead yet. Heal, heal, heal. Got all the full heals for days. I still died. I got myself cornered when I was reloading. Don't go power crazy, folks. Oh boy. That was probably the dumbest thing I've personally done. Just come at me. Love doing that. Alright. Wait for this. I'm not gonna pop these, just gonna sneak by. Should probably still crouch because it's still explosives. No more machine gun ammo even needed. Life is hard. 
Take care of things early. That's what I'm learning. Pick up some detonator bombs. Stuff picked up well. Run on down here. Got that. That's cool. I'm good and all that. Fuck my life. I hate you. Uh oh. Chance where I need to not get cornered again. That wouldn't fine. Also reload my gun. A lot more ammo to go, definitely go through. That's all I'm gonna say. Go deeper down these caves. This seems like a trap and a half. I thought that was going to be pushed into us. Can we push it? Yeah. It's actually us that's doing the push it. And voila! It's gone. Oh boy. Let's see what's through the area. One has to rush on through these caves. Put down some wood that was in these caves. I'll go in the dark before I go in the light. Just in case there's something in these caves. Let's say that like third time. That looks mysterious. Ooh. This area looks pretty cool, honestly. I know I'm inside of like a, a, a mine, I think. It looks like a salt mine. But it kind of feels like I'm inside a moon cavern for reasons. Well, that needs to be shot. Oh, so we go there. Be wary, probably more traps and all that. Just going over here first to check the area. I feel like this one's going to explode. It's kind of lonesome off by itself. Oh no, it's fine. Let's continue. One continues to climb, I as well go up here. There it is. I was waiting for it. Still was gonna try it though. The only way you can really tell about those would be if you shot from a distance or if you use the one pill thing probably to see if there's any items inside. Can't take any of these herbs. Already stocked full on everything. Till I'm not, then I won't be stocked full on everything. The obvious statement is obvious. Sent Friday, January 16th, 2015, 12.42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under or under though. I was wondering, in this whole family obsession, something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Sent Friday, November fourth, two thousand fifteen, two ten a.m. That bitch Mia is still still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all. But she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy, like I said. Your bioweapon is fucked up. Friday, September 1st, 2016. 1-10-8. I just love the idea. It's like, yeah, your fucking bioweapon is calling this bitch mommy. Your bioweapon's fucked up. Why did you program her to want a family? She's a bioweapon. I think programming her with the need to have a family wasn't exactly the best way. It's a one. F Anyways. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. 
Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Guess who's who? I mean, I guess that because the, they did the exact same sitting chair thing. And also, both kind of a bit unexplained. So, yeah. I think with many of us saw that coming, possibly. Your bio weapon. Oh, wow. I need an inventory slot for that. Oh, jeez. What, what can I get rid of? Eh. Yeah. Why do I have enhanced guns? That's what I can get rid of. I gotta get rid of that. But I can't pass on steroids. <laughs> Jack me up! Fun, fun. Your max health has increased permanently. A little note here. The report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with the E-Series weaponized assets. Or other referred to as mold. <laughs> Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients in the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly take over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co opt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations. It soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. In this state, if this state continues, the host will soon will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but as a result of him or her acquiring incredible physical strength, conjuring a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Fun. Well, that's a laboratory. Let's get looking around. E neurocrotoxin E series dosage test. Five minutes after vomiting. Ten minutes after dose. Death. Twelve minutes after dose. Cell calcification. Something of that sort. Let's round, look around a bit more. Hey, it's that fetus thing. It's like an item to use. Oh boy. E necrotoxin. Destroy cells of a subject based on the E series bioweapon mold. Use only for disposal of E series assets. And that, uh, the toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E series cells to the necrotoxin container. Oh, wait. Is this that bottle? baby fetuses. <laughs> okay. Well, converted. E-necrotoxin. Is it like my steroids? <laughs> Special serum for disposing of E-series test subjects. It could destroy Evelyn if injected into her. It's the magic dosage to kill Evelyn. We'll get to that shortly, I feel certain. Probably. No, it's not on the back, though, only on the front. Okay, this is seven pages. Look, it'd be fair, the notes in this game are too long. Well, let me get my vocal cords ready, and let's go through with this. This project was inst er, instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts of the company's Nexvis, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Working with technical assistance from ACF or HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants on en masse with minimal direct contact. 
Next best was light, uh, when the, the, that was later folded and all of its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effective, effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the Blink and even Blank's Blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. Let's bet umbrellas somewhere anyways. This project would have never existed were it not for the discovery in Blank of Blank, the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the Mutamycete. You think it's related to that drawing that we saw at the beginning of the game that looks like a big eye or something, or a fuzzball? The fabrication method of each bioweapon was to introduce the multi-mycete genome to the pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The, result organism, the resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and the faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for this bioweapons, that of a roughly 10 year old girl. What? To ensure ease of blending and with an urban <coughs> refugee's populations. What? Yeah, I'm sure that's your reasoning, evil corporation. The first E series specimen named Evelyn was proven capable of or secreting the mutamycete. Probably mispronouncing that from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that Vector is similar to the autoinducer of pheromones and used for quorum sensing in the, can't say this, Puzumon bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is not audible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The, psycholo or the psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body moldifies. That's what I'm going to say is what they're saying. Totally correct, too. Let's, oh, I can still spin it. That's fun. Well, back out. There we go. Another file. So much to read. The devil is in the details. What is that? Read all the files. And oh, I read all the files in a single playthrough. That wasn't even my intent. But I did it. It was because at the end of the game, this is the final file, by the way. And we also just got the anti Evelyn whatever. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has been has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on examples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the macerial to calcify. But if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is to therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would, in would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which blank in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe is Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. 
In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she sell upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just a speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is a better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Da -da 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 -da. That's a very Resident Evil plot twist, I tell you what. No, they're not just a crazed family of mutants. The little girl mind control, neurotoxin, fungi turned into molded. And she just wanted a family's love for her chemical upbringings in cryo whatever. Onward! Flame rounds, flame rounds. They go pretty crazy pretty soon. <laughs> Maybe I went a little bit too crazy with bringing everything in retrospective. Maybe just a little bit of retrospective. Remote bombs, lockpick. What am I not going to use? I'm not going to use the machine gun. Sorry, machine gun. There's so many other things I can use. So, Flame rounds. So I've got more flame rounds than I know what to do with. Maybe I should use a little bit of the grenade launcher. Gonna move that there just so I can use it a little bit. You think this is the final save state, or you think we've got another one before we reach the end? Oh, okay, so that from this angle looks like a face or a mask, but it's actually just bleach. See what I'm talking about? Anyways, I guess I'll take that one. Let's go. That is mystifying. Enhanced hang and ammo. Put that back in my item cache. Oh boy. Just need something to be unlocked, right? Or it's literally just sealed shut in possible way. Secret Magnum ammo. Ha ha. Okay. I'm kind of go crazy in this end sequence. So I just turned the flashlight on. This is actually brighter than a lot of things. But I'm not complaining. I wish I had a little bit more control of the flashlight during the course of the game. I don't understand why you do it. I just pick up. Okay, chemical fluid. Probably not to be used for too long. Or I could pick up the herbs of the previous area and just give myself. I'm going to give myself a baby heal. I think it's nice to treat yourself every once in a while to baby heals. Or was it a few labs ago? <laughs> I've been in so many lab rooms. There they are. I've been in so many lab rooms here that I almost got them mixed up there. But I'm gonna use this. I'm already on good health, but I just want to make sure that I like just also because I just get out of my inventory. You don't need to use that. Well, fuck you then. I didn't need to use it in the first place. I was just gonna treat myself. You won't let me. You won't let me waste it on myself. I'm gonna have to put that away. Let's go. Down to the pit we go. Where will we stop? To be frankly honest, even I don't know. That's part of the fun, I say. Not knowing what to really expect. It's kinda nice around here, though. You know the tunnel that we need to go through is right there. I just wanna take in a moment, because I feel like we're really approaching the end of the game here. So let's go. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.